Hi guys! Welcome to my living room or technically in front of my sofa. Um, as the title of the video suggests, you can tell that today is the day that I'm sharing with you guys my house tour. So we've kind of moved in for about a year already and this house tour is like long, long delayed because of COVID. We'll get back to that later but basically because of COVID, my renovation process was quite segmented as opposed to the usual flow. And before I get started on showing the tour, which is actually going to be split into two parts. Um, first is the living and the rooms area and the second part will be for the kitchen and my utility room and my bathrooms and all that. Um, so yeah, let me get started. I think around the end of 2019, um, if I'm not wrong, I'm not very good at remembering dates. Um, we purchased the house and the reason we did that was because um, we really liked the location. And this is a three-room resale flat. It's quite an old flat, but it's just the two of us staying here. So um, the space was more than enough. Um, but I do have a lot of things, so technically also not enough. But in terms of like... The number of rooms to the number of people it was enough so we really liked the location and we were very happy that we managed to buy this house um the original condition of this house wasn't great but we knew that we wanted to renovate so what we were basically looking at is the location the shell the shell of the house i will show some like before pictures somewhere but as you can see the before was very dark very dingy we made sure that one of the things we wanted to do was to redo the fittings so we changed the main door the main door frame we changed all the windows um the rubbish chute yes it's old enough that the rubbish chute is in the house okay so we changed the rubbish chute um we also redid the entire kitchen and bathroom tiles we did the waterproofing, um, we also re ran all the pipes and electricals because it was a very old unit. The only room that we didn't touch much was the add-on utility room. Um, for there, we only overlaid um, vinyl tiles, um, just like the rest of the house. Okay, so um, after we managed to buy the house, we decided to start looking around for ideas and inspiration and kind of know how much we need to set aside for renovations. Um, and we checked a few ideas, we sent them quota um, we sent them like an email, did a meetup and we got some quotations and the one that we were most happy with and that we went with was Kenny from Fifth um, Avenue Interior. So we met Kenny and we were very upfront that we didn't want to do too much. Um, he wasn't pushy and he had a very aligned um, sense of aesthetics that we have. So we decided to go ahead with him and thank God we did because he was so nice and he was very... He kept to the timeline very well despite um, the d despite the whole COVID thing, there were a bit of delays, but um, he did his best to rearrange things around for us, and we are very thankful for that uh, because it was really really a hectic period. Um, sorry for the ums. There's a lot of things I need to think about. Uh, there were a lot of hiccups along the way, so we had to move in originally without a kitchen. <laughs> So we couldn't cook, we couldn't wash our hands um, at any sink, so we had to wash it in the bathroom. But we'll get to that um, in the next video, the whole timeline. So one thing I like about Kenny is so we, since we are first time homeowners, there are a lot of times that we cannot visualize things. So Kenny was very helpful in that to help like suggest tiles, suggest colors, everything. There were a lot of times where I thought I would have to spend a lot of time with at the meeting because I'm not very good at making decisions but Kenny gave great suggestions. As you guys can see later, the whole house came out great and it's been such a cozy space and we really love it. Plus with how COVID hit, uh, my fiancé had to work from home a lot. So this space was done up in time, I guess, uh, for him to have to fulfill his work duties at home. For the theme of the house from the start, we knew that we wanted something that was very neutral. So we set our hearts on like this grey, black, woody theme. So the colours will be very neutral and you won't like have too many colours because I own a lot of beauty products, a lot of clothes 
and I don't really want the colours of the house to clash with that. Um, what else is there? Ah, I also knew that I didn't want a lot of built-in furniture. So our only built-ins are at the kitchen, the rest is like off the shelf, everything is movable. So I'm just gonna start off at this area which is where the main door, like where you come in from. So my main door is there, like I mentioned we redid the door frame. We redid the entire main door. So we changed our main door and this is in a matching laminate to our counter as well as our dining table. And we also actually, like there used to be a window up there um, above the door but we kind of just sealed it up because I really did not like the look. And we have fitted our K9 lock from Kadas which we love. So this is what it looks like. It's a bit noisy outside. Um, but yeah, this lock uses, yes, it lets you know when it's closed, but this door use, uh, this lock uses batteries and you can save like fingerprint, you can have like a card as well as like, I think up to 8 digits, um, for a pin code to access. So we love that. On this window, we have our Venetian blinds from Curtain Suite. And I actually did not think to get frosted windows because it's a corridor unit. But after that, I thought that I would like to open it without seeing outside. So I got frosted film and stuck it over the <laughs> windows that are along the corridor. And this is just like our shoes area. So I got these drawers like that from Shopee. And this bench is also from Shopee, but I do not recommend the seller because he gave it to me in the wrong colour and refused to take it back. So yeah, that's that. But we kind of put more shoes here. I had to condense my shoes so much. And right behind the door, we also have like a half-length mirror where I've often taken my photos here, but it's mainly to let us check our outfits and all that. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that for our door, we also got a door arm. So the door swings and holds open by itself. So we don't need like a door stopper and it won't slam. Okay, so this is the other view from when you first enter into the house. You'll see our very comfortable sofa. We got this one customized from this store called Kawas. And we, are, we were able to customize like the material, we were able to customize whether we wanted armrest, um, the length. I think we went for 2 meters and it's so comfortable, we lounge on this all the time. And the material is like, this material that doesn't really get too warm, so it's great. And they gave us the 2 cushions and the 3 pillows in front, the other 2 are from Huga. Um, my side table is also from Huga. And the poof is also from Huga. So this is like the noir area, I would say. Next up, we have our TV set up. You can see I have a lot of perfumes here. Um, we have like hand sanitizer, my crystals, our Google Nest. Sorry, my finger is like in the way. Let me zoom in a bit. Our Google Nest, our Switch PS4 and our TV and soundbar. So we went for this, if I'm not this the LG OLED and we have the swivel mount so we can kind of watch the TV um, when we're on the dining area if we want to. Which brings me to the dining area. This is the dining table that I mentioned that matches our kitchen ca um, carpentry laminate but there's a dry kitchen, I'll show that for part 2. And this is the high table that we uh, customized as well. So we customized the length, height and dimensions that we wanted. And yeah, it matches the door. <laughs> it's an EDL laminate, um, if I'm not wrong. And yeah, this is just our dining area. We only have four chairs. Uh, we didn't think to buy more, I don't know why. So we can only have a maximum of two other guests if we're both home and want to eat. And <laughs> this area is where I put my Dyson Omni Glide as well as our purifier fan. Our entire home is also fitted with ceiling lights, um, no, ceiling lights and fan from Decor Asia. So initially this had a rounded dome but we switched out for a flat one and they're all the same line, all the same room and they have three different colour temperatures. So that's number one, two, 
3. My personal favourite is 3 because it's not too cool or not too warm. But at night, we use number 2. I don't really like number 1 at all. And there's a remote uh, for the fan. And what do you call that? Um, 6 speeds for the fan. So you can even set a timer if you want to. But I never really thought much of the timer function. So... Without further ado, this is the second room and this is like my closet um, slash study room. Our closet slash study room. Um, obviously, you can see I have a lot more clothes. Um, this section is all mine and I actually use up like I think four of the drawers here. That drawer is mine too. So what we have here is the closet set up. I had Kenny make the hanger for me, the black colour bar that you see for all our clothes and so far it's been holding up so well. Great quality. And everything else is actually from Ikea. So here I have like my beauty products. So all of these are from Ikea. And even the glass cabinets. So on the left side I have my um, cool tone bags. And the right side I have my warm tone bags. At least I try to keep it that way. And on this wall we have our curtain from Curtain Suite. I wanted something bright so that the light can come in diffused. Um, but... Yeah, it's like that. It's, it's just a normal curtain. And we have our customized chairs from Royal Ergonomics with our names. So you know who's sitting where. And our tables are from Castle I really like this when I saw it at the showroom. And I wanted both to be the same. So we kind of got this one. And this is another area. So this is like um, where Jeremy has his skincare. We have like some of our hair care attachments. Because sometimes... When he has to go to work or when I'm still sleeping, he can dry his hair here with my air wrap. And another full-length mirror. I think there's like a mirror for every room that we have. Yeah. And lastly, for part one, we have the master bedroom. So this is the only room with colour and we picked this blue which is a very soothing and relaxing colour. Um, on this side, we have another mirror and like my hair care station, I would say, because I usually dry my hair here. And we have a super luxurious rug. It's so soft and comfortable. Um, our bed is from Castle Re. We love the bed frame. It looks like a floating frame and I love the tone of the wood and the grey. matches very well with the house. Our bed is from Usa and it is a king size bed. It's so comfortable, I swear. This is like my favourite room, hands down. Like, um, every night, right, I just lie in the bed and then I just tell like my fiancé and I'm like, oh my god, our bed is so comfortable. <laughs> um, here we have the bedside tables that we got from Shopee as well. But I don't recommend because it sucks. The instructions were so bad and yeah, don't get it. The reason I got it is because I needed a very narrow width to fit them both on either sides and this was one of the only ones that I found and yeah I also have my nebulizer that I haven't been using because we need to buy more of the essential oil and the other kind of built-in thing was an afterthought and that was because we got our Lumos which we kind of use every night uh, next to that we have our Google Nest for the room and I had my ID Kenny do the brackets for us, get get it mounted, and I kind of DIY the shelf because um, most carpenters were not... Because it's, like I said, it's an afterthought. It was too small of a project for most carpenters. If not, the fabrication is very expensive and it wasn't the correct dimensions that I want. So I bought a piece of wood, um, I stained it, and I varnished it by myself. Yeah, so that's that. And we got full-length curtains from Curtain Suite. This is the day and the blackout curtains. We decided to go for the full length instead of starting where the beam is was because I feel that it makes the room look like more grand. If you guys think that I'm painting it's because I am. That's how unhealthy I am. And on my bedside table, I have like moist lotion tissues. Okay, lotion tissues are the best guys. Um, and this nightlight from Huga that I still barely use even though I should use it more. So that's it for part one. If you guys have any questions about my renovations or any of my furnishings, you can ask them in the comment section below. I will try to reply them. If not, I will address them in the second part of the video. And yeah, I'm so sorry again that this is all over the place. Um, 
my renovation journey was a small <laughs> place and I will try my best to list anything that I can in the description box below and I'll see you guys here for part 2